and today I'd like to ask the question, where exactly is it that we're going to? Well, the word Bethlehem or Bethlehem comes from the Hebrew house of bread. In Arabic, Bethlehem is the house of flesh. The flesh made man and dwelling among us. Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus, the bread, broken to feed the world. Bethlehem itself was first mentioned in scripture in the book of Genesis as the last resting place of Abraham's beloved wife, Rachel. Now Rachel's tomb stands forlorn and lonely, surrounded by a high barrier wall with nobody allowed to visit just inside the gates that separate Bethlehem from the journey to Jerusalem. It is the birthplace of King David. It's the place where Ruth and Naomi, her mother-in-law, gleaned the fields and walked the path. It's the place that we hear mentioned every year when we hear the old familiar story from Luke of the birth of Christ, born in the house of bread. What type of bread do you like? What type of place do you imagine the house of bread to be? Is it like walking into a baker's? You get the aroma of freshly baked loaf. Or is it a place that we encounter only in the storybooks, on our Christmas cards, remote and distant from us apart from the 25th of December? Or is it a place that comes alive for us every day of the year as we go past the child in the cradle? and encounter the man who turned his back on the trappings of life to sit with the lost, the lonely, the mentally disturbed, the marginalised, the poor, the outsiders, the strangers, the people of all fates and none, sat and ate and laughed and broke bread with them and in the end became bread broken. Maybe today you might consider taking a piece of your favourite bread. Look at it, smell it, feel its texture. Break it apart in your hands. Taste it in your mouth. Think about the land that it came from. The hands that planted the seed by combiner or driller. Think about the shop that you bought it from, the packaging it came in, the places where the salt came from and the yeast, the mill that ground the flour. And as you eat, ask to remember each time you eat the bread the house of bread, where he who became bread was born. Feed us with the bread that never perishes. Give to us the living bread, that we might never be hungry again, and from our plenty be bread, broken, shared, that the work of the Incarnation may go ahead. Once in royal David's city Stood a lowly cattle shed 
Where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that mother mild, Jesus Christ, a little child. He came down to earth from heaven, who is God and Lord of all, and his shelter was a stable, and his cradle was a stall. With the poor and mean and lowly lived on earth our Saviour holy. And through all his wondrous childhood he would honour and obey, love and watch the lowly maiden in whose gentle arms he lay. Christian children all may be, mild, obedient, good as he. And our eyes at last shall see him through his own redeeming love. For that child, so dear and gentle, is our Lord in heaven above. And he leads his children on to the place where he is gone. Not in that poor lowly stable with the oxen standing by, we shall see him but in heaven, set at God's right hand on high, when like stars his children crowned, all in white shall wait around.